Hello, this is Lolly. I have a, pro a share today of something I purchased, and it is the card making and paper craft three in one um, magazine that comes with stamps and looks like an embossing folder. So, what I want to show you is the price on this because this is not made in the U.S. This is issue 183, by the way, and the June issue, and it is 5.99 pounds there. In the U.S., it's $12.99, Canada, $13.99. Um, so what I do is I go to Barnes & Noble. I have a Barnes & Noble membership, so it gives me another 10% off, off the $13. And um, I also happen to have a coupon at this point, an additional um, $10 off. So let's open it up and see what we have. Of course, I grabbed the scissors that are less sharp here. There we go. Okay, it's called Card Making and Paper Craft. I'm going to show you these first. It's called, this is the scene, is called Beautiful Day. Build a scene with this 15-piece stamp set, papers, and embossing folder. Yes, it is an embossing folder. First, I want to kind of bring this up so you can see what's on there. Besides the bicycle, and you have the tires here because you can stamp this twice over there. This little flower can go in the middle of the spoke if you want. Enjoy the ride. Beautiful day. Thinking of you. It's got some bunting there, a group of flowers to go in the basket, a butterfly, balloon, more flowers, and these two little tiny flowers, and the little doggy who could also ride in the basket. Very cute. And again, this embossing folder, which makes the little fence. But I want to open this up. Let's see what's inside here. If there's anything in here besides the stamps. I think there might, if it, yeah, these are papers. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay, that's a really cute embossing folder. So these are the papers, and they go along with the flowers that are in the basket. Oh, red gingham and blue polka dot. That's adorable. Now, what I like about this is I did another one of these magazines, and I think it was a different brand, but um, the papers were in the magazine, so they were glossy. I don't like crafting and card making with glossy paper, magazine weight paper. These are nice. This works out really well. So let me set that aside and look through the magazine together. So inside this issue, six fun ideas with border punches, gorgeous gifts for book lovers, and a brand new hunky-dory card ideas. So what they do is they give you ideas to use them. Of course, there's a lot of ads, but the nice thing is about that is that you can um, discover new companies maybe you didn't know or existed, or you can also discover uh, new collections within companies that you're already using. These are like letters to the editor, letter, letters, I say, letters to the editor, ribbon sales, I think, there, I turned the pages too much. Now, these are the examples here on ideas you can do to, to use the card set. You can see the fence back here and the bunting up there, very cute. So, several different card making ideas using what's in the kit here, and there's the little doggy. Let's, yeah, they put the dog in the basket right there. Very cute. Now, there's some coupons here as well and upcoming ideas for shows that are going to be in the UK, which, of course, I don't have access to. But you know what? I think, it, I think it's wonderful knowing that they have this um, resource in the UK because there's so many things that are in the US that aren't in other countries. And it's nice to know that they have some resources that are made locally and then there's like tips and tricks and articles. There's more card making ideas using other people's stamp sets. So a lot of ideas here if you're one that likes to just, you know, this would be a great magazine to take with you when you're flying or taking a trip because then you could really pour over it. You know, there's more card ideas here, more card ideas. So it's something you could really study. And this is one of the things that I used to do um, when I was first getting started uh, rubber stamping. Um, I would take an example. For instance, let's look at this one right here. This one right here. And I would uh, say, how can I expand my horizons? How can I learn new techniques? So even without even reading anything, I can look at this and say, well, that's interesting. They took a white card. They put a mat of a, a light brown uh, mat on there and then a, a smaller mat yet of dark brown. So there's three layers there. And then they put another strip of cardstock matted 
off center and then put their main image off center and then the this uh, sentiment off center and so that would give me ideas about layering back and forth and getting more layers and then the butterfly and the uh, flowers and you notice the whole thing is almost monochromatic it's almost all browns there's a little bit of gray and blue it looks like so I would think okay what stamps do I have that I could use to stamp in the center and do the sentiment and so that was just one way of, you know, practicing layouts. We usually think layouts as scrapbooking. I love these colors. Oh, so there is there is some more paper here. This is the what I was talking about, the glossy magazine uh, quality paper. So this does come in there, and they do give you some ideas of card making using these papers. But again, um, it's magazine, you know, quality. So you can you can definitely use them. And these are cute, the little tags and everything. I'd be hand cut out, so very cute. The only thing is I would suggest that they, um, yeah, that's what I thought. So if you cut these out, they're not double-sided because this is not perfectly in the back of that. So um, I would suggest to them to make the backs of these white or, you know, so you're not, so you could have doubled the tags instead of being, um, only getting to cut out one set. So lots of articles, ideas, and different ways of making hot air balloons. Very cute because hot air balloons are very popular right now. Oops, I'm turning too many pages at once here. Wrap with love, just in, in, uh, different ways of doing wraps and belly bands and instructions on how to do them. So again, you don't have to have exactly the same dies that they're using. Now I love this tag, that's very cute. I'm going to put my, and it tells how to use crackle paints. Very cute. So there's a lot of ideas. So what you're going to get in here, it's almost like, you know, buying um, a crafting book, a creative book, and getting all the training and can't, and I can't, that is so cute, that you would need inside a book, but it's in a magazine form. Very creative, should inspire you to uh, do many things and expand your horizon. And then there's a crossword too. And then here's some templates to make some of the uh, boxes and things that are on the inside that you might want to um, you might want to make. And what you can do, since again you can't just cut that out or you'll lose this pattern, I would photocopy this on a good weight cardstock and do, photocopy all of those. And then when you cut those out or save them and just trace them from then on, you would always have your templates. Store all your templates in one place. You could even put the templates back, like in a pocket inside the magazine. You know, so, and if you were of a mind to, you could store this inside here and put it all in one nice um, notebook or um, or a big pocket, you know, um, a zipper pouch or something. So it's all together, all your templates, your stamps in the magazine would be a really good way to get all this organized. So thank you for watching. I hope that I will have time to play around with this. Um, Doodle Bug Let's Get Creative is a week from today. And so... Um, I'm all packed up to do that, but I can still, I still have enough supplies that I can use my supplies to make something if I have time to whip up a card or two. So thank you for watching. I hope that was informative and very interesting. Um, I think it's a gorgeous magazine and well worth the price. This is how you can follow me on Facebook and subscribe to my blog.